Hey there, it's been a while since we started YouTube and over 400 videos later, we've finally almost hit 25K subscribers. We're probably another one of those YouTube channels that got penalized for keeping our channel very varied. Very varied? So to celebrate the 25K milestone, let's see what we've been up to so far. The first videos that appeared on the channel were mainly original songs. After my previous bands dissolved, I was reluctant to start another, so this was more like a solo project. After a few months, we did get some members, and we did play some gigs, but that was until the whole corona thing just got out of hand. Then in early 2020, we released the first version of the Pandora tool. As I was absolutely hopeless at programming, I decided to pitch the idea to Dejoho, a friend from university. It took a few weeks, but gladly, he was on board. At first it was intended to be an automated game installer for the Pandora Games 3D, which then turned into a bit of an obsession. Not only did we fix screen aspect ratio, we actually opened up these boxes to do things they were never intended to do. I decided to review something that really caught my eye. The Super Console X. The performance you got from these Android systems could even rival the Pi 4, and got the attention from outer space. Hello humans! We are from the planet Global of Aloo. It looks like you found some new technology. Wow! While we checked various Amlogic 905 systems, it was the HK1 box that was our price to performance favourites. The MUB. And as most of these used Emualic, we decided to make some tutorial videos to give help when needed. Next step was quite obvious. As the cheaper Android boxes were limited by spec, a mini PC like this would allow us to run later systems at full speed. And with these mini PC reviews under our belt, we started getting review units. And granted they were mostly Intel Celerons, they had more power than a Pi, and it performed if you stuck an eGPU to it. In 2022, we started by checking out the new wave of mini arcade cabinets. Granted, they were mostly nothing but shelf ornaments. Some of them had unique features, such as the Egret 2 Mini changing to tape mode, and the high input latency of the Astro City Mini V. Oh my god. Oh, you guys. I can't believe this. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, the detail. Oh, you couldn't do that with a 3D printer so easily. The A500 Mini was simply beautiful. Have strap racer on it. Damn it, you copied over my favorite game. Let's see if we can slip in a floppy disk. You need to use more lubrication. Which led to the development of Pandora 500, allowing us to use the system to its fullest. Of course, in the background, our original Amiga computers were also being seen too and we upgraded a couple to allow HDMI out. We then moved on to some handheld reviews, like the Game Gear Micro. Feels like there's a frisbee on a nipple. Never tried them. And the buttons feel a bit like Palmer Violets. Yummy, yummy, yum. And we also tried numerous emulation handhelds, from Retroid, Ambernic, and our favorite one for the pocket, the Miu Mini. In 2023 started with light guns. First up was the Wiimote to the A500 Mini. I wish you would stop triggering my PTSD. Which moved quickly on to Gun Forever. Basically it's a service where the Namco gun con is modded so it can be used for multiple systems, including regular computers and even the Raspberry Pi. We continue to review handhelds, but as Ambernic released new ones every couple of weeks, they were getting very draining to create. And by the time the lackluster rg 35 x was released, I decided to change things up a little. Admittedly, I didn't care how it turned out. The idea was solid in my head, and it made a very entertaining watch. We just made a retro mod. How good is that? The sensational Steam Deck got released much later in Japan, and finally it was in my hands. But the thing about this handheld is it plays pretty much everything. 
But once you have something like this for PC games, and a smaller handheld for Amiga, Mega Drive and PSP, I don't think there's anything else you need. Unless you want to use real cards, and adding an IPS screen to older Game Boys is thoroughly recommended. The difference is night and day. We also had a new wave of Pandora Box systems, and the Alpha 3D Max was a breath of fresh air. At first glance, it looked pretty cheap, but this one had trackball support, and the files were fairly easy to alter, so we changed some settings, added an aspect ratio toggle, and we released Pandora Max. It was the summer when we finally got a high-spec unit. We were super impressed of what this Ryzen computer could do, but it wasn't until later that year when the much cheaper G3 review went viral. We started off 2024 with a monitor review. This ultra-wide 1440p was pretty cheap on Amazon, but soon enough, we're back to the mini PCs. It's nice to see how each of these differ, but in my mind, I had a New Year's resolution to get more in front of the camera. But to be honest, being filmed makes me feel all sorts of uncomfortable. In that spring, I met up with a few friends in Tokyo, had a blast of a time in the arcades, and got some used stuff in Hard Off. At the end of the day, the channel's always been one with emulation at its core, and every time we turn on something new, we try our hardest to play something old. We'd like to say thank you to all of those companies who decided to send us a review sample and trust us with reviewing your product. I'm sure you all realize we try and keep things as unbiased as possible, and this may have angered some in the past, especially when we have some bangers like... Windows is buggy. Windows is Very varied. I guess this little device has driven me insane. Oh, 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 oh. Kick away seven mini PCs. And. Also, another thank you to all of the other YouTube channels who've been there for us. It's always nice to communicate and prop each other up. And finally, a big thank you to you guys, our audience. Oh, it's always great hearing from you in the Discord, as well as YouTube comments. But if it wasn't for you guys, we would have quit years ago. We'd like to celebrate this 25K milestone with having a live event. We'll have a few guests with us, Retro Game Core, Wicked Gamer and Collector. The event will be held at the end of September and there'll be two mini PCs up for grabs. The GMK Tech G5, which is an Intel N97, and also the GMK Tech M7, which is a Ryzen 7 Pro 6850H. You need to be present in the live event. If you're not there, you can't claim your prize and it'll go to somebody else. So, we hope to see you there. Good luck. Click on the videos above for happy lucky time with me, John Luke.